Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany Smith. And I am Christian Harloff. I'm very excited. We are joined by Will Arnett. He is the voice of no, no, Batman. No, no, no. I'm just going to correct you and say what? he is Batman. He is <laughs> the Batman. One of the uh, a talented actors who is playing Batman once again in Lego, the Batman movie. Will, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having letting me come in here. <laughs> it's so nice and cool in here. It is very cool. So far, this is my favorite place. Uh, at Comic Con, yes. this room. See, we get there. because of, because of the air conditioning. That's <laughs> nothing to do. With Come us. on, just like well, just, we just, just met. let we'll us take some of the credit. We'll let's right. see how it goes, and then we'll, I'll say after. Yeah. Well, we do have the air conditioning, so that's true. Yeah. Uh, I would say Fandango Studio, we win. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't need to explain. That's no. it. Yeah. Um, what I love so much, obviously, is just hearing you talk. Your register is so low. It's kind of perfect for Batman. And I've gotten to talk to some other actors who voiced Batman, like Kevin Conroy, and. They always have to be really serious when they're doing the character, yeah. but you get to have a lot of fun with this character. Yeah, it's my it's it's my favorite thing to do. I, I think it's because all the other guys have been so serious over the years right. that you know it's kind of unfair. I get to just goof around, and um, and it kind of works. Like we we found a great sort of balance and, and a great sweet spot with with Batman in the first Lego movie. Yeah. So it's a real advan advantage for me to be able to do that. Well, you mentioned the first Lego movie. Was there any time when you were voicing the character of Batman, you said, you know what, I could see this kind of standing alone as a standalone movie? I'm a dumb guy. So I did, <laughs> let me just start there. I did not see that happening. So when they told me, you know, we found out um, the day that the Lego movie opened and it was kind of doing well and everybody's all excited and they were like, hey, we're going to make a... We're, we're gonna make another Lego movie, but we're thinking we're gonna make a Lego Batman movie. Right. What do you think? And I was like, well, well yeah, really? <laughs> yes, but yeah. yeah. You're like, I was totally thinking that yeah, from yeah. day one. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because they, they went, it became so popular, the character mm -hmm. was so funny, in the, and obviously the way you voiced it. Um, when they announced it, because they knew they were gonna do a Lego sequel first, yeah. and then they pushed up Batman you yeah. know, to come out because it's yeah. so popular, people want to see it. Was that kind of crazy, also? Yeah, I, I was excited. I, I'm not entirely sure. You know, I'm 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 not uh, privy to all the machinations of how that kind of stuff, sure. those decisions get made. But um, I was definitely, uh, in th you know, I was very enthused that we got to kind of uh, uh, um, butt butt our place in line a little bit and, <laughs> and, and get the movie out early because I think it's a really it's a really fun movie and also gave you know everybody a chance to to really work on the second uh, Lego movie. And that's sure. much more comprehensive and you bring a lot of different stories together yeah. for that. For this, uh, from moment one, I think they had a pretty clear idea of what they wanted to do. How cool is it for you to get to see the Lego Batman minifig and you're like, that's me. It's cool, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I actually have on me the new- um, What? Yeah, he just came out <gasps> oh, today. Cool. You don't want to touch him because I had him in my mouth earlier. <laughs> From your mouth to yeah, your pocket. That's true. I love it. I know. It's not like the most hygienic. No, it's good. I'll put Does it back it? in. But, I was literally no, about to say, don't put it back in your no, mouth. No, no. And you did. Kid. But yeah. yeah. Um, well, Deb, Pat Deb Gibson Patrick, who's watching right now, says yeah. she loves your Lego Batman voice. So oh, what, well. Is that a question? I don't know. She it's said, just a comment. She loves spreading the love. Yeah, well, that's thank it. you. What's spreading your name? Deb yeah. Gibson Patrick. Well, thanks, Deb says, Gibson she, and Patrick. Three, three people. Three people. <laughs> yeah. They all said she loves your, oh. like, they kind of like came together to make that one. That's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. It's yeah. like Voltron. Yeah. 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 What a crowd. <laughs> well, speaking of the voice, though, like yeah. a lot of times when people do voiceover, they kind of have to develop what the voice is going to sound like. But talking yeah. to you, like I said earlier, you already have that like low register. Is there anything you do differently when you you are Batman? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you know, when, when Batman is a little more, he's much more in here. Right. You know, it's almost like a, a gravelly whisper. <laughs> um, and so, you know, when we record and, and, you know, you do things where he's kind of doing that voice but yelling, it's, it's, it can get rough yeah. on the old vocal cords. Well, what do you, were you doing, so was there, because you got to do kind of like parody, I know sometimes if you look at something like um, what Jared Leto is now doing for Joker, he went, it looks like he's doing very different from what Heath Ledger was doing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for you, is it almost like a parody of like some Michael Keaton stuff and some, you know, um, Christian Bale? Well, it's not so much a parody. Like, I, look, I, I had the benefit of, of a lot of Batman before me. Um, that I could go back and reference and look at and take, you know, you reference, uh, uh, you mentioned Michael Keaton. I, I love, Michael Keaton's my favorite. Um, he was the first one. Yeah. Uh, I love that dude. He's a great actor and, and, and all around cool dude. So, 
you know, that was, but I got to kind of pick and choose the things, you know, take, we all know who Batman is. He's a very iconic character. I could take those rules and bend them a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not really as much a parody, but just, <clears throat> I could also sort of play with the idea of why he is so lonely. We've always seen him as dark and brooding and all these things, right? Now we got to get into why. Um, yeah. Carly asks, how would Lego Batman fare against Jared Leto's joke? Uh, very well. Very well. The <laughs> Joker just, would just put Lego Batman in his mouth and crush him with those metal teeth. Nah, very <laughs> I think he'd get well. out. I think he'd get yeah. out. He looks a little kind of scrawny. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah, he's a little little tatted. I'm more, I, we were saying yesterday, he's kind of like more like a punk rock Joker. Yeah, like, or just punk. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Just kind of like skinny and like, kind of like, um, frail. Just kind of like hipster. Yeah. The wiry ones, though. But in a good way, ones. in a good way, by the way, in a good way. But it, it, it looks amazing. It looks really cool. <laughs> I'm just saying in a fight. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can, I can see As it. an actual thing, he looks, he looks super rad. Well, right. And that and movie looks super rad. Uh, yeah. Suicide Squad? Yeah. Incredible. Have you seen it right yet? Now. No, no, no. No, no. But the hype for that movie right now yeah. it, it is so anticipated. We yeah. can't wait for it. Yeah. I want to go on record saying that that movie is going to be a hit. I, I totally agree with <laughs> and, you. I will back you on yeah. that one, uh, for yeah. sure. No, uh, and, but, and Will Smith. There's nobody cooler than Will Smith. Well, yeah. and so, not that we should compare Lego Batman to any of the characters because they are their own separate things, but the Joker doesn't have a theme song like Lego Batman oh, yeah. does. That's true. Oh, yeah. uh, will we get to get any new songs? Like, uh, darkness. Oh. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just did that. that good. We might. We might have okay. a few things, yeah. Okay. We'll see. Um, we might. All right. Yes. Josh asked, do you actually like Lobster Thermidor? <laughs> Thank you, Josh. <laughs> um, is, this some, is this like something I can't, that... It, it, yes. <laughs> um, I can't. I can't divulge too much. Okay. I don't want, Josh, I don't want people to know how the sausage is made. Right, that's fair. You know? That's fair. <laughs> a lot of people want to get, get too much, too much behind the scene. I don't want to give away yeah, too much. Like Some of the man. mystery. You'll, Josh, you'll never know if I like lobster thermidor <laughs> unless you go for dinner with me and there's lobster thermidor, only lobster thermidor on the menu. <laughs> And then you'll have to, you'll see me make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of make you, yep. making you make decisions, yeah. we've got a little game we want to play with you. Okay. Would you rather? Oh, man. We're going to we go. go through this these. This game is never good for me, but okay, go ahead. Would you rather have lobster thermidor? <laughs> with Josh. <laughs> or have lobster thermidor? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy, you're really pinning me in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we'll do a real okay. one. Uh, would you rather have a face like a pumpkin or a body like a tennis racket? A great question. Um, <laughs> would I rather, this is the question I've been avoiding my entire career. Would you I know, rather have a face? They, they recently took it off the SATs. Face like a pumpkin? <laughs> or a body or like a, a tennis racket? body like a tennis racket. I'm going to say face like a pumpkin, I guess. Okay. Any reason? Don't act Commit like I'm that. crazy. <laughs> They're both <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, went with the pumpkin yeah. face. That's, the one. Man, that's, that's nuts. The one. You <laughs> could get roles in movies because there's a lot of horror films with, with pumpkin, pumpkin heads. That's right. Yeah. And then I there get to keep a regular body. <laughs> is my point. If yeah. you're a functioning just, body. If, you just if I'm a the... tennis racket, that's bizarre. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where the head, where yeah. your head goes on the tennis racket, uh, honestly. Right. And where is all the everything else? It's a good mix. If you're just tuning in, we're here with Will Arnett. We're playing. Would you? you rather and I have one right now okay would you rather we're doing another head question have I have a grapefruit sized head sure or have a watermelon sized head but I'm gonna give you a why why whatever your answer is um what's with these questions <laughs> this is crazy what's with the head replacement I thought it was gonna be like would you rather like uh you know be with the the grip or be you know what I mean like one of those <laughs> don't avoid this girl. okay this is your destiny <laughs> Would you rather make out with the camera dude or like <laughs> like lick the the, the skeet ball game? Like, oh man, I don't know. Um, uh, head like a grapefruit or head like a watermelon? Yes, and, and is it the size or is it an actual <laughs> is it, size? Is, is it, you, the I, question is grapefruit sized head. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. I already have a pretty big head. It's quite big. <laughs> It's, really? it, yeah, it, it's shockingly big. It doesn't look at it at first glance. But the but jaw fits, though. Yeah, yeah. I, thank you. You're welcome. You're a good dude. Thanks. Um, I would say head like a, <sighs> god damn it. 
<laughs> I am just watermelon. impressed with how much watermelon. thought watermelon. you're putting in. I love these. how much thought you're putting in. Watermelon. All right, because ahead. if you have a head like a grapefruit, because you said why. Yes. Sorry, yeah. these are your this rules. Is right. You're absolutely yeah. right. And I was going to jump right over. Uh, that if I had a face like a head like a grapefruit, then I would only limited uh, amount of brains. True. You know. Yeah, you can expand it more, right? So That's the true. odds are that you'd be pretty dumb. I like that. Like dumber than this, which is crazy. Real quick, you just said because you mentioned Michael Keaton. Do you do you do a Michael Keaton impression? Why? Exactly. Would uh, I? It's the what, Michael Keaton. I knew it. Just the way you said that, I'm like he probably crushes a Michael Keaton impression. There he does. Thank you. I love it. I love crushes. it. Shameless. <laughs> we want all of that stuff all on the show, just like our Would You Rather. It's kind of shameless. Yeah. Uh, would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses, mm -hmm. or? One horse-sized duck. Two. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna let you off the hook. This will be the last one. <laughs> a hundred. A hundred duck-sized duck horses. Would I rather fight them? <laughs> yep. <laughs> or one horse-sized duck. I'm gonna need some context. What's the nature of our beef? Mm. Um, you have <laughs> stolen the breadcrumbs okay. that the ducks were going yeah. after. Okay. On lunch. That's okay. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go <laughs> with the horse-sized duck. Oh, yeah, it's kind of freaky. I like that. But there was no why, so I'm not gonna tell you why. <laughs> you don't need that one. All right, before we wrap up here, we have one more fan question. Okay. Owen Baranowski, he aged five. He asked, "Do you have any helpers in the movie Wild Style or Robin?" Yes, uh, Owen is his name. Uh, yes, sir, Owen. Owen, uh, Owen, I, I do have a great helper, uh, and his name is Robin. And I think you're gonna like him. He's pretty. He's pretty fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So much fun having you here. Thank you so much. And you guys, everybody on Fandango, make sure you are watching all of our Comic Con coverage from the Fandango Studio. Right. Everywhere. All aspects of social media on Fandango. Find it. We'll have more great interviews. And thank you so much, Will, for joining us. My pleasure to be here.